from the many years of uh, making stuff, some very clear signs have emerged of, hey, here are the type of things that people tend to people tend to share. Right? This is of course not a not a definitive list. Uh, these are just this is just I'm just putting it out there so you it can get you guys thinking. So for example, I've observed that topical stuff is an easy bait to get people to share. Right? If something is topical, lagar iski hawa chal rahi hai, then you then you kind of want to share that. Uh, what's the latest? Right? Like Kohli hit a century yesterday. Everyone wants to have a hot take on what what happened there. So I also put out Kalmanek tweet mar diya. I was like topical hai Kohli ne century mar diya hai. So I said that I stopped watching the World Cup after I stopped watching cricket after Dhoni won the World Cup. Is the old I stopped watching ODIs after Kohli hit a century. Okay, I mean, take take mar diya. That if Kohli ne agar Sachin ka record break kar diya, mera ho gaya hai ODI ke saath. Abhi ban kar do, pack kar do. Time ho gaya ODI ko goodbye bolne ka. Is it is it decently well on Twitter? Not because what I said was amazing. It's just topical. It's the shit that will get shared right now. So if you if you if you have a take on something that everybody else is talking about, um, you are offloading the work. You are offloading the cognitive load of someone else to have their own take, right? Yes. Right. What you are essentially doing is to search. I have made. I have made your opinion. I have made it on this. To share it. Right. Like I am. I am doing making your job easier for you. So something topical always works. People love. People love a hot take on something that's currently the trend. What else do people share to spread positivity, right? So people love sharing anything that's like hyper positive, right? It's just it's just a break from the sadness that is the rest of the world, right? So hyper positive is something that always works. I remember uh, at AIB social media team, I used to tell them, "When in doubt, just be happy." <laughs> When in doubt, just cute be happy. Yeah, arey, yar, just here to put a smile on your face, yar. Because the rest of the rest of your lives are so uninteresting, and this thing, or you just want to engage, or you just want to share and spread some positivity. Similarly, nostalgia works. <laughs> nostalgia works really well, right? Because because uh, in our time, it was is always nice, <laughs> right? It just triggers a part of your brain that just always makes you makes you happy. Um, extreme opinions in other is another is another tool, right? When you have a very strong definitive take on something. Right, people love it when someone has a spine. When someone gets to call out something, like AIB's brand of humor was very call outy. AIB's brand of humor was very calling out bullshit. So people love that. That's an extreme take on something. So when you have an extreme take on something, what happens? You automatically create a market for the contrarian take to that take, yeah. right? So uh, like, oh, um, Game of Thrones' last season, crap, the crap, the crap. I remember, I remember this actually happened. Uh, the last season of Game of Thrones was trashed so heavily that I was like, "Ki do aftar rukte, iske counter opinion pieces shuru jayenge." Right? Everyone universally hated it, and then slowly, at some point, I saw Huffington Post or some article that came out saying it wasn't that bad actually. <laughs> right? This is like you said, uh, people just want to feel like they're part of a tribe. They they just want to feel that. Um, so especially on like Instagram posts and so social media, like this is ye daily dal chawale honga. कि एवरीबडी वांट्स टू हैव वन एक्सट्रीम टेक ऑन दिस थिंग और ट्विटर पे तो वो हियर्स व्हाई आई थिंक आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस इज बैड फॉर यू अ थ्रेड राइट पीपल आर एंगेजमेंट फार्मिंग नो फुल्ली नोइंग कि इफ यू हैव इफ यू हैव अ स्ट्रांग टेक ऑन समथिंग अह दैट विल गेट ट्रैक्शन एंड द कंट्रेरी इज आल्सो ट्रू व्हिच इज इफ यू हैव अ स्ट्रांग टेक अगेंस्ट द पॉपुलर नोशन सो दिस ब्रॉड फ्रेमवर्क कैन बी अप्लाइड टू एवरीथिंग राइट लाइक यू सेड दैट ब्रांड ऑफ योर्स अह व्हिच इज व्हिच इज रूड On social, which is basically saying that oh, everybody else is this way, I will be this. So this broad framework can be applied to everything. That the rest of the world is doing. We obviously will do the opposite thing. Uh, this kind of helps. What else? So this is like identity-based, identity-based stuff, right? If you if you trigger someone's identity, so we made an AIB sketch on honest engineering. Yes. Yes. Huh? Engineering, right? Yes. तो उस पर तो पूरा ही लाइक मेरे चैनल पे पाकिस्तानी और सैवेज राइट लाइक पाकिस्तानी बहुत सैवेज होते हैं यार तो जो भी पाकिस्तानी उनको लगता है हाँ यार मैं तो हूं यार जानता नहीं है पर मैं सैवेज तो हूं क्लिक राइट सो आइडेंटिटी बेस्ड ऑफ जनरली इज अज अ नो ब्रेनर एवरीबडी वॉन्ट्स टू से आइडेंटिटी दैट देव चोजन 
is uh, you know uh, they they want to they want to consume content about the 10 things only gujaratis will, will understand ke all gujarati are like ha yaar ye to sirf mujhe hi samajh mein aata hai yaar aur kisi ko aata hi nahi hai uh, yeah i think in countries where individualism is usually pushed down this sort of stuff does super well and identity based stuff so this is like another easy it's an easy no brainer if you do something anything to do with identity especially if it's identity plus positive that kind of stuff um it really works gossip and sensation thing also work very well anything that breaks the every day yeah we broad framework here it's a sensation is nothing but extreme take on on something right is i'm 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 talking about super macro takes on things i'm being i'm being very broad is can i if you go i'm bold for emotional and soft stories emotional and emotional stuff also works usually positive emotional stuff um positive emotional stuff kind of kind of works someone said relatability like relatability is super interesting because there's a couple of layers to relatability um one i used to call sh- gifting an emotion or sh- shared emotion like if you make something about you know flatmates right oh it it'll appeal to everybody who's ever had a flatmate anybody who has lived on campus or shared a room with someone anybody who's left their city to go to another city to live to and has a, has a flatmate in-